Hi. In the in the previous video, I showed you how to install uh, XUnit into your project and how to prepare your project to be tested with XUnit. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to write a simple uh, unit test using XUnit. So let's get started. So let's jump in our class library project and I am going to add a class so I'm gonna call it calculator class so we will be testing this calculator class so <clears throat> inside my, our calculator class I'm going to add a public method public uh, add public int add so it will return so before that I'm going to add int a int b so and return a plus b so this is the class that we will be testing uh, inside our um, unit test project okay so this is our calculator class and now let's uh, jump into the unit testing uh, unit test project so here i'm going to create I'll, I'll be creating another class so um <laughs> uh, unit test so this is my uh, unit test class i'm gonna i'm gonna just rename it i'm gonna call it my test my for example my x unit test class so this is my unit test class yes okay so uh, let's get rid of this of these attributes here and even from this using statements here uh, I'll be using x unit same space because I need this namespace to use some attributes and uh, uh, some attributes and some function exact classes and functions from the uh, uh, unit test x unit sorry x unit uh, namespace. So after that, uh, as you can see, it's already here. So um, inside uh, my uh, test class, I need to add a void method. So I'm gonna just gonna call it my test method here, my test method. So on the top of this uh, method here, I'm going to add uh, an attribute which is fact. So in order to uh, use this method to test our calculator class, we need to add this at uh, this attribute here, which is the fact attribute, and then um, we are going to write some uh, test code inside this method here. But first, let's speak about the uh, uh, test uh, steps that we need to do in order to test our calculator class. In fact, there is three steps, arrange, act, and assert. The arrange uh, step, as you, can, as, you, as you can see here, it says that all necessary preconditions and inputs. In our case here, we are going to go to uh, test the calculator, uh, the add method inside the calculator class. So uh, the, ar the arrange uh, step, uh, in, in, during the arrange step, we need to prepare the inputs of the test. So the input here that we need to provide for the test it is an instance of the calculator class so we need to instantiate the calculator uh, uh, to instantiate the calculator class in our uh, in purpose uh, to uh, to call its um, add method here so in the arrange step we need to instantiate our class so calculator c new calculator So this is the arrange class, the arrange phase where we provide the uh, necessary input for the test. So the next step is the act on the object or method under test. The next, the second step is the act. 
So here we instantiate the calculator class. So we need the, the, the behavior that we need to test is the add method from the calculator class. So the act here will be calling the add method uh, from the uh, from the uh, calcul the, inst the instance of the calculator class. So this next step is the act act step. So see that add. Where I'm going to pass here five and six, and uh, I will put this in a result inside the variable. So this variable will contain the result of the uh, add method of the uh, calculator class, and finally, the third step is assert and like it's written here that the expected we assert that the expected result have occurred in the assert phase uh, we are going to compare uh, to compare sorry the expected value for example um, in our case here we are expecting we passed uh, 5 and 6 to the add method but we return 11 so here we are going to compare the expected value so let me say that I expect this method to return 6, uh, for example. Here I'm going to write, for example, assert, sorry, so this is not assembly, so assert dot equal. Here I'm going to, for example, let me say it, that I expect that uh, this, uh, this method here must return, for example, uh, 15. And I'm going to compare the expected value with the um, actual value of the result from the, uh, the call of the add method here. So I will put the result variable here. Okay, so here I'm testing the expected value with the, uh, the actual value of, uh, of the call of the add method. So now uh, to run this test, uh, I'm go you are I'm going to, to go to the uh, the test menu here Windows text ex test Explorer so this is the uh, the test pan here so it's written here build your solution to discover all available tests or click run a, or run all to build discover and run all tests in your solution so in order uh, to uh, show the list of tests here, we need to build our solution. So I click on build solution, but nothing is uh, nothing appeared is appearing here inside uh, this uh, pan here. And the cause of this is that uh, there is no um, runner of the te of uh, X unit tests installed uh, in this project. So there is two uh, ways to run XUnit tests. The first one is to install the um, XUnit runner for Visual Studio, and the second one is uh, by uh, by I think it's um, with the command line. But in this but uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using the uh, Visual Studio runner. So to install the this runner, just click on the uh, this test project here, manage NuGet packages, go to browse. Type xunit dot runner dot visual studio. So this the, the package that we need. So xunit dot runner dot visual studio. Uh, hit install. So and I think that you need to uh, restart Visual Studio after installing this package. So I will um, uh, stop the video for a while until Visual Studio restarts. So for now we are going to install this uh, package here and uh, it's uh, it was installed successfully. I think uh, I don't need to install, let me see. I'm going to rebuild my solution. So as you can see uh, without uh, Starting our uh, the Visual Studio, as you can see, after uh, installing the uh, XUnit that uh, runner for Visual Studio, 
we can uh, list the, the we can list our uh, tests here as you can see hello xunit.test.my xunit test so this is the only test that i have made so as you can see this is the my test method so here as you can see so uh, uh, this is our test so to run this test we need to uh, click on the run uh, button here so i click on uh, run so uh, so if you want so for example if you have 15 or 20 or many uh, tests and you want to run them all click on the run all tests run all uh, button if you have only one test so click on run run fail test and uh, just wait for it for, for it to finish so here i've run the, the test so if i uh, click on run all tests so if we take a take a look here so the test did is uh, has failed it didn't pass because the 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 result of this method, the call of the method is 11 and i am expecting to return 15 so as you can see here if we take a look so test fails and it indicate what tests failed which which uh, which is result which is the result of my test method so message assert that equal failure expected 15 that means that i am expecting 15 to be returned from this method here but the actual value returned by that method this method is uh, 11 so now i'm going to change the value to match the expected uh, the the actual value so here so save the file and i'm going to run all so now as you can see here so i am uh, expecting 11 and i've got 11 from the from the, the test from the the execution of the test so as you can see here uh the test passed hello xunit blah 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 the test and uh, as you can see elapsed in so um this is uh, all about this uh tutorial today uh this was just a demonstration uh of writing a, a simple test using xunit um in future uh, tutorials i'm gonna uh, we're gonna dive deep inside more uh, to see more details so uh, this uh, that's all about this for this tutorial today i, I hope that uh, you like this tutorial and uh, see you in future tutorials bye bye